Now, if you follow the installation method that I mentioned in a previous video about just clicking and dragging the actions into Photoshop, then a lot of times what you end up with is they come in in kind of a, a little bit odd of an order, not necessarily alphabetically. Notice that I'm clicking on the little triangle here to collapse each one of the actions. Basically, the actions are broken down into two steps, and we're going to get into that here in just a minute. I just want to kind of show you how to do a little bit of house cleaning to get things organized for you a little bit better. Unfortunately, there is no uh, you know sort alphabetically option inside of Photoshop. But what you can do is take the actions and simply reposition them. So let's take the uh, eCover Black Pack eBooks, and I'm going to click the first one here. Notice it starts with six, which is not in the proper sequence. I'm going to shift click on the last one there, 10. And let's see where they belong. Let's go ahead and click and drag all the way down. And when you get to the bottom, just release right there. And we'll just keep moving them down because I've got ebooks down here, one through five. So we'll click those and drag them down there. And now they appear in the correct order. And basically, most of the other actions seem to be all right. So now let's talk about how you actually run these. Like I said, they're basically broken down into two steps. So let's do the easing first. We click the uh, first arrow, and then we have step one and step two. On step one, just select it. Go down to the bottom of the Actions panel, click the Play button, and that will execute all of the commands that are in step one. Let me just tell you, there are a lot of them. I'll show you here in just a second what all is involved and what's going on. It basically sets up a layout for you with some placeholder text. Now you don't have to use any of this, okay? but I'm going to explain what it all is and why it's there and then you can customize it. Let's take a look at all the steps involved in step one just so you know. Each one of these is a command that is executed and that's what makes up step one. Step two, same thing lots of different individual commands that actually you know are involved in creating the final product now once step one is done let's go ahead and close the actions panel by clicking on it and now we have some placeholder text and we have this little blue line right here whenever you see a blue line like that this is a guide and it basically lets you know that there's a transitional point there in this particular case we're dealing with the cover of the easy and then the spine and that blue line is letting you know where the spine starts and where the E cover starts. Now what we're going to do right now is leave everything alone and we'll open up the actions panel again and we'll go to step two just to see how this runs. Okay, We're going to deal with customizing in a different video but this is how you run the actions. So we select step two, click play it's going to take whatever we did in step one and now compile it and create it into a three-dimensional e-cover. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Now with all of these actions, or at least most of them, there are a couple that don't have this functionality, but with most of the actions, you will be left with the actual uh, product and a background layer. We can turn that background layer off. And we can turn it back on. We can also change the color of it, maybe to match your website, whatever you might want to do. Okay, So that's the basics of running all of the actions. They all work the same way. In another video, we'll talk about customizing all the actions.